It's Heart Breakfast, Mum Dine With Me. Searching for the yummiest mummy in Dorset and the New Forest. Here are the mums. Ruth. Laura. Jill. And hosting the one that can't smell or taste, Nina. I tend to like things that are sweet, sour, peppery, salty, etc. So I do tend to make a lot of curries and spicy foods. And here are the judges, David. I don't know if anybody's going to think of using their own homemade produce or homegrown produce. That would get extra points. And Caroline. I quite like lasagna. Well, I hope you like it spicy, Caroline. Nina seems to be a little bit fiery in the kitchen. Check this out. I turned around and I had to put one of the tea towels on top of the hob that was still on and it was inflamed and the crack was a crack as the crackling starting to go up. So I had to get a hold of it with one corner, run it outside, stamp on it with my flip-flops and I'm thinking, in all my years I've never had a situation where I've ever had any danger out of not being able to smell or taste and the first one it is is when I'm doing it for heart. Heart accepts no responsibility for burning flip-flops. How would you know how it's going to taste if you can't taste? I kind of trust her. The smells are good. It smells lovely. She says that she's made me a, a spicy one, which is really good. I like spicy. How much do you like spicy? I'm fine with it. I love it. Love it. Favourite curry? I, depending on the day of the week, I, I could I could do it in the league. I'm a man. A real man, hey, David? <laughs> we'll see. It is actually quite spicy. Yes, it yeah. really is, isn't it, David? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do the, um, <coughs> what is it called, the breast cancer? Oh, breast cancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I had this thing on January the 1st. I was going to start. Real men don't sweat, okay. David. Yeah. Well, what's Caroline up to? This is the design. Mike. There you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. she, she's not, is she? Oh, um, just, um, Is that yoghurt? It must yeah, not the most subtle, Caroline. <laughs> That's a real man <coughs> there from David. <coughs> yep, handled it really well. But at least he's finished everything. Oh, hello. Is David going to be ill? Subtle, David. I don't think Nina will have you back again. Let's cool down with some entertainment. Where do you think this going? Somebody's no, cheating. Who's cheating? I can't guess who it would be. Dirty, filthy, rotten cheats. <laughs> you rotter! I can't <laughs> believe I didn't just going. play the game. <laughs> it's down to one spoon. Very tense. I hope the winner is gracious in their victory. <laughs> The so, not gracious at all then, Caroline. Poor Ruth. Let's see what she thought of the evening. Spicy food's not for me, and for me that was a bit spicy. I absolutely loved the food. Um, really, really delicious. Um, I've got a bit of a confession to make. Right. David was giving it all this, saying how he likes spicy food. Yes. <laughs> so I stole some chilies and some chilli powder, poured it into David's food, mixed it up a little bit. Sorry. Caroline, I'm shocked and a bit impressed, actually. I've spent the night sweating. I stink. Yeah, I can smell you from here, David. Anything else? I'm dreaded tomorrow morning. I bet your family are too, David. Really, really funny watching David's face and it was brilliant seeing what happened because like, you deserved it after passing around all that food on the first night so I'm glad he got his comeuppance I'm pleased we're pleased too Nina and we all survived to tell the tale it's mum dine with me next week it's Jean's turn and she's just a bit keen on chocolate alright she's completely obsessed with stuff